but also, hey, what bam? I'm working on my garden right now. Oh, is that right? I got new little seedlings. Yes. Are you uh, using fertilizer? No. It's very that important. Would be nice. Little known fact, it- Roxy, I once was a landscaper. Are you back serious? In, back in Ohio, yeah. Oh, wow. Fertilizer well, is, is everything. Got to fertilize. This is a company called Let Us Grow. It's actually Zoe De Chanel's company. And they have the new hydroponic garden towers. Oh, check it so out. You don't need fertilizer. You could just stick in this little pot where it belongs, and it grows. Just like Alter Ego, I'm not hip to the latest technology. I'm, I'm a little behind the curve, but I'm catching up. You actually, I think you, you and your kids would actually really, really love this contraption here. It's actually really dope. So, well, let me let me show you. you. This is this is our this is our like. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Nick. Can y'all hear him? Can't hear you, Nick. We lost you. We lost your audio. Nick, get out of the. Can you guys still hear us? Nick, get out of the chat and then come back. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? It's too loud. Someone says it's too loud and nobody cares. All right. I'm I'm gonna sign out and I'm gonna come back. Loud and clear. Okay, great. All right. Sweater weather mode right now in LA. Come on. I'm wearing leather pants and a sweater. You know what? I do miss, uh, you know, as somebody who grew up in Ohio, I miss this. I miss the seasons. I miss like fall. I miss seeing the leaves change. A little chill in the air. Yeah. Can't lie. Can't lie. Yeah. Wait, did I, I see like, you went to New Orleans lately? Did you go to New I Orleans? I did. I was a groom's woman. Uh oh. How cool is that? Very nice. progressive. Yeah, my best friend got married and um yeah, I was his groom's woman. I cool. wouldn't say the best woman, but I kinda did I held the ring and gave it to him during the ceremony, so Sounds like best woman to me. Sounds like best woman to me too. So I'll take it. But, yeah, it was pretty cool. I love going home to New Orleans. We actually watched the show. I watched the show with all my high school friends, and and that was pretty dope. (laughs) That's cool. So, yeah. I'm excited for this week, though, because it's a head-to-head. Yeah. The stakes stakes get upped big time this week. Like, it's one thing to, you know, 
eliminate one of five or whatever. But when you have a head to head and you have to like fit, like one of them has to go, that was tr crazy pressure. I hated it. Yeah, lots of people have to go home. Yeah, it's sad because I hate to see people's journeys come to an end. But I want to say something to all the people out there. As a judge, I've never been judged before on a show like this. It's the most like excruciatingly grueling thing to eliminate somebody who is super talented and it's hard to do but you know you it's, it's part of the it's part of the job and and you know that it's you have to promote the next person but yeah you guys just wait till tonight it's it's crazy it's it is, crazy it's, crazy mind-blowing crazy this was like one of the most surreal most surreal nights i've ever done on tv what, yeah. what you see tonight it's it's wild it's super emotional. It's, I don't know. I don't, I don't envy people like, oh, I want to be on that show and I want to be a judge and da 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 da. No, you don't. Cause nah. being a judge actually kind of sucks. You, and then like on Twitter and like social media, do people give you like crap for like not saying the right thing about somebody? Or... I second guess myself. I watched the shows back. I'm like, what were we thinking? Like, what, what was I? It's it's so was, hard. Like in the moment, was, you think you know. It's just there's no there's no right way to do it. There's no right decision to make. It's it's always wrong. It's just it's just hard. It's hard. Hey guys, because, right? Yo, how's it going? Finally. Yeah, six. Sorry, sorry. My my, uh, my last call went late, which isn't a good excuse, but I'm here now. Oh, I think Will just requested. Oh, is, let me find him. I got him. Very sick. Is I don't oh see shit, the gang's all here. I know, right? Now we just need Alanis. I know. For, by the way, Alanis' show was freaking epic. Yeah, Her, was that sick? It looked, I saw some video, it looked awesome. My all, no offense, like Nick, that was like the era. All of the 90s came out of me during Alanis' show. Baggy jeans, baggy oh, yeah. shirts. I saw it all. It was so cool. That was a great show. That was a really great show. And it's and the bowl covered. the bowl is such a cool place to see a show. Anyway, I guess like that just adds to it. Like I'm sure the show was dope anywhere. Right. Little known, little known fact: my longtime sound guy is her sound guy. So my my boy, give a shout out to Sean Sullivan, does her front of house sound. He's amazing. So she's in good hands. It's it's, yeah. it's cool to see the two of them together. It's really sick. How's how's the little one doing, Grimes? Uh, he's doing really good. I mean, he's like angry. He hates it when I'm on phone calls. <laughs> he's like, why aren't you paying attention to me? But um, he is, yeah, no, he's doing great right now. Um, I, I love your new song that you released on TikTok. That was pretty dope. Ah, oh, thank you. I, I, I actually, one day I tried to be grime, and I put a bedroom sheet behind me with a fan, and I was, it didn't look nowhere near as epic as how you do it. <laughs> it's a nice, easy, like, random wind on fabric is just, like, the easiest trick in the book. It's, it's the easiest way to make it look like a head. Yeah, I'm going um, to ask What do you think about the head-to-head -to -head tonight? Ooh. Without giving anything away. This stuff just gives me... It feels so, like, aggressive to make people compete in art. But also, like, I don't know. It's... I. But that's the business at the end of the day. It's true. It is the business at the end of the day. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm like, the, like, I don't have the constitution to be a judge. I see now I'd rather be a host. I'd rather switch places with you. Like Grimes, I was just saying, don't you feel like you, you kind of second guess, like we made decisions. You're like, Oh my God, what were you thinking? Like, it's, it's so hard. They were all so good. It's so I, hard to like, choose. I always, every time we choose and I'd always second guess and be like, no, we fucked up. But uh, like, I don't know. It's, it's hard. I mean, I feel like, I don't know what most of these shows are like, but I feel like they've, there weren't a lot of weak people, like, I, I, or at, at all, almost. Like, I feel like they just, like, did a good job of, like, um, auditioning, like, really strong performers or something. And, like, just, like... Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, like I feel like when I... In the past, it's been, like, 10 years since I watched American Idol or anything. But there'd always be all this, like... I don't know. Just, like... Well, okay. I don't they want to say anything bad. But I feel like it was just, like... It's, like, for us, it was, like, choosing... I'm, like, how do we choose between these people? They're all so good. Right. Um, now they did. They did a really good job of finding like super, super talented people because it was 
I mean, especially in the head to heads when you have to like literally eliminate one of two people. Yeah. It was so crazy, crazy hard. And, and you guys will see it tonight when you watch the show. It's, it's bananas. These people, every one of them deserved to go on, but unfortunately we had to send one of them home and it's just, it's, it's, it's hard, man. It's hard to yeah. be on that, on that judge's table. That's all I can say. It's, it's, I kind of wish that they would have got a little bit more of your guy's humor. Of our what? You, some more of your humor and your, cause you guys are hilarious out there, but the show goes so quick. It was yeah. like. Oh, oh Grimes, Grimes loves my humor. She, she loves my humor. I've grown to love your humor. At first, your humor drove me mad. And then over the course of the show, I, I came to truly appreciate it. Um, you can't help to not love Nick's dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. But they're good. I'm, like, excited for tonight. I know they want us to go live. And not everybody about the show is coming on. So New York City, get ready. 9 o'clock, your time. Central. All the people right after the Mad Singer. I got questions coming on. Oh, people are asking questions for you, Grimes. Uh, Grimes, they want they want to know new music. When, I just said her, a, new, a new song she dropped on TikTok. Are you working on new stuff right now, Grimes? Well, I'm in, so basically what's happening is I'm in a, a, a minor, um, I signed to a major label and I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Um, and now like this first single that they want for the first single and the first single that I want for the first single are in contention. And so there's been a mi minor delay while we work out this debate. Got it. Um, so that's basically what's happening. Cause I think people are like, what's happening? Where's the first single? Um, but basically there's, there's two competing there's two competing uh, schools of thought regarding what the first single should be. So I think we're just working. Like, I kind of want the RT single that sets up the space opera to be the first single, but they kind of want the, like, obvious big pop song. And so I'm like, but they might be right. They might be right. But we're just, we're in, we're, <laughs> we're in a debate. I'm open to, I'm open to it. We're, we're, that we're just, challenging that's... when your label is telling you one thing, but then... I mean, you guys know, you guys are artists, so your your label wants one thing, your manager wants something, but you want this. So how do you even, like for people that are in the industry or want to get in the industry, how do you stay, I guess, true to yourself and your art? The thing is, is it's hard. My taste in music is not very commercial. And my, like a lot of my most successful songs, I actively tried to take them off my records or not put them out. And people like, like, strong-armed me into putting them out so that my one thing is is like i'm probably really wrong about understanding like what people want to hear <laughs> like within my own art like that's why i'm like i i should you know like some people like like my all my biggest songs i tried to not release right um yeah i think i think to her point like sometimes you as an artist you get so caught up in it that like like hardest thing which is probably our biggest song back in the day we didn't even want to record it like, yeah. when it was the last song we recorded on the record. We didn't want to go there. We went in the studio. We were all in a bad mood. Yeah. And it became our biggest airplay song in our in our entire career, probably. So, like, sometimes as an artist, you get so close to what you're doing that maybe yeah. you, you miss the macro, like, view of it. And Exactly. So. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, I'm, like, I recognize that I might be wrong. Um, we're just kind of – I kind of want to finish both videos, and then we have them both, and and then we can truly make an objective decision – uh, you know, somebody but, just said this is the most random live ever. Just call me. I agree. This is that's, very random. This is a this really is, random group of people. We, but that's we are why, a very random group of people. That I, I that's what kind of what I love about this though is like I feel like this is the most absurd judge, judging panel and setup of people. Like it's a good juxtaposition. It's pretty interesting. How do you feel well, about? I've, said, I've like, said it many times in interviews. Like I've never felt, I've never felt older than like sitting next to Grimes on a judging table because I, 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 like literally don't know, understand half the things that are coming out of her mouth. But I still <laughs> appreciate and respect her as a person and as an artist. And like I learned so much. Just like I just, I, I, it, it was the first time I, I felt like in my career, like wow, I'm the old guy on the panel. Like I'm, I'm that guy. I'm, the, I'm the old guy on the panel, and I, I can't relate, and I gotta learn. So. No, but you like you totally changed. Like when I first came in, I was like, "Robots for the win!" Like it's like humans are going to be obsolete in thirty years. And then like after going through the show, I was like, I, I was like, "Oh man, fucking!" Like I've never cared to been like not into 
singer singers like i've always just been into like electronic music and like by the end i was like man just like a great vocal is a great vocal and i've been uh uh here's i'm gonna guess will how did you know it was me <laughs> what in the world are we looking at right now i knew grimes was gonna be here so i had to come correct and prepare <laughs> oh i gotta give shout out to uh shout out to my boy vince herbert he's in the check-in too hey vince um yeah Grimes. Vince herbert. So, yeah my man <laughs> there he is he's like what's up will so grimes this is the first time we got you on one of these so we've been uh playing with the filters and uh i did one last Ooh. week hold on that was epic grimes and will said if grimes saw that one she would freak let me see. No, not it. the cat. Not the cat doing the nails. It's another one. No, I can't find it now. Like, oh, oh man, well, I didn't know we could have filters on here. Is this my grind? This is my grind. Grimes. I didn't know either. Yo, gr yeah. <laughs> if, if, if Grimes did a photo shoot like that, that would be like, yo, for real. Wait, do I have to have music? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Nick, we I showed like... you how to do this. Yeah, I, I can't remember how you hit the. What button do I hit? You hit the little smiley um, face. See the oh, little smiling, smiley, smiley face? I, I, did, I did like a crazy, hold on. I feel like, see, this is what happens when you get old. You already forget. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. So, so bottom um, right smiley face with like a little thing. <laughs> click on that. <coughs> wow. Also, like, if you're not following, you have to follow the people who make the filters in order to get the filters. Oh, see, Will did his homework. Will came with a whole bunch of extra ones this week. What? I didn't do anything. I've just got, I've got the old filter on. This is the old filter. That looks, that looks for one. real. I that one, that smiley one. face, Nick. That one. I like that one. Oh, wait, no, Ooh, that one's good, Roxy. Isn't that one dope? Uh, that was no, uh, is, isn't that one dope, Grimes, that Roxy has on? Yeah, that Roxy oh, one is it. really good. See, I told you she was going to like that one. Ooh. I all right, guys, we're supposed to be promoting Alter Ego tonight, eight, nine, nine, eight Central on Fox. It's the first night of the head to heads. People are getting eliminated. Wow, that's really. That looks like the dude when Roger Rabbit, uh, at the very, very end of the movie, his eyes turned like that. The guy that got in the slime. Am I the only one that watched Roger Rabbit? Okay, fine. Oh, no, you're not the only one. Trust me. I watched it, but I was too young to remember it. You got to watch it again. Alter Ego is a lot like Roger Rabbit, where you had cartoons and everything like that interacting with human beings. So if you like Roger Rabbit, you need to watch Alter Ego. Or Space Jam. Yo, wait, wait. Do you know where the fucking number one new unscripted show on TV? How about that? I just found out today. It's all Fox. <laughs> yo, I thought, I, I, I was like, yo. Crazy. That that's actually crazy. Yo, that's that's dope. Congratulations, Grimes and yeah, Roxy and Nick. Dope. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Please. Congrats, all Will. You. It's it's really Roxy. Like I like Roxy suffering up there in stilettos for like twelve hours a day in freezing cold in like a tank top. Like that was actually like a human rights concern for a second. <laughs> 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 I will do it all over again. Season two, I'm definitely gonna be a lot more comfortable, that's for sure. Yeah, no, you gotta get the suits with like some sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Maybe I, season I just, two, maybe season two you just host as an alter ego. The whole thing, you just sit yeah. backstage and you know, some capture shoot. You, you don't have to do anything. You just chill. That would be dope. But that would be super like, sick. They'd be like, no, we want her up there. <laughs> what do I yeah. click on? I... They say, Will I Am and Grimes, where's the collabo? Ooh, that'd Ooh, be crazy. Anytime. Anytime. That'd be next levels. I have a lot of thoughts about that. That's you know what? Can fun. I be real with you? What? I have to be real. While we were on set, I wanted to ask you so bad, but I was trying to keep my cool hat on. I'm like, no, don't, 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 don't ask her. But what? Really you should have asked be like, me. Because I was trying to keep it cool, like, because I was, I was waiting for the right time, but I would love to. That would be amazing. No, I would love to. I think we could make something really cool. You've made some of my favorite beats ever. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like, and, and I'd be curious. I'm really, like, pushing the, my boundaries with writing styles right now. So I, that would be really fun. A any, Literally any time. I want to be Oh, that would be dope. Yeah, we'd have Roxy in for some ad-libs. Yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> Can I be on the album? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, Roxy, Roxy could do, Rox, Roxy could make like the, you know, like producer tag, you know, like, yeah. That would be like, like a sexy girl voice, like saying, saying the producer name. I'll say it in Spanish. So that yes. will like that, that A papi. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I had to, I had to put it on right when you said that, girl. I had to put it on. Yeah, you know what I mean. I had to put it on. <laughs> He's crazy. Okay, who's what, some of your favorites right now that you guys are seeing on the show? Who are the favorites that we get through? Favorite performers so we have, on the show? Safari so tonight. Dipper Scott is tonight. I mean, we all Dipper Scott's Wait. amazing. Lover Boy is Lover Boy. Um, I think Lover Boy's it. tonight. Yeah. And then who else is tonight? Who's the fourth? Oh, Phoenix Embers is tonight also. Oh, Phoenix Embers is amazing. Phoenix Embers is one of the big ones that I regret kicking off. Oh, shoot. Snapshot <laughs> 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 into Grimes on the judges. I love it. Uh, that's okay. that's probably just some NDAs cut. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Let's just move. We'll Let's keep going. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, damn it. I'm gonna back. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change the subject. You know when I when I get my fix of, of Will I Am is when I'm taking my kids to school in the morning. I get the kids bop radio on, and the Rio soundtrack comes on, and Will is just killing that shit, and my kids fucking go bananas. So, you know I've I've never seen. But I think I watched that for the Trying to think what song it was. Oh, I um um. It's a song that we did that I did with, with Jamie Fox. Yeah, yeah. Just heard it this morning, my brother. Oh, thanks for letting your kids listen yeah, to man. it. <laughs> that is hilarious. Jimmy, they go crazy. I need right. to... I distracted. Okay. That now we're, we were away from that other thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Totally. Okay. Trying to see what else. I... Oh, have you guys watched Squid Game? That was no, I, I literally started Squid Game tonight. Bananas. Bananas. Crazy. It's like, I'm worried my expectations are, are too high, though, because it's way everyone's sick, but I'm very excited. I've, I've just been, like, waiting. There's some people I promised to watch this, so I've been waiting for them, but I so now I can watch it. You might have to, like, um, yeah, break that Netflix contract of, like, watching it with your friends and, like, Cause you're gonna start it and you're not gonna want to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of feel like I feel like we all need to move to Korea. Like all the good stuff is happening out of out of Korea right now. Really good. K-pop and Squid Games and LG and like. I feel like Alter Ego could definitely go to Korea. I feel like Korea is like one hundred percent music videos. Like, some of these like black videos and stuff are so fire. Like I don't know, the video teams there are great. The few times I've done promo in Korea. There, it's like all the best I've ever done. Just the creative team, the glam team, photographers, like, are just really, really good. Um, yeah, they're definitely having a moment. Here's no a question. question: Who's better, Kanye or Kendrick? Ooh, that's like a really loaded question. Who will I? Am? Um, that's what. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I don't want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very smart answer. Yeah, I wouldn't want to answer that either. That's uh, like picking somebody in our heads head to head tonight. Like it's just too it's too hard to too hard to call. You know? Ka Kanye to me is more. The, my, I relate to him creatively with how he approaches the creative process. But, like, I don't even know. Ah, uh, that's, like, <clears throat> yeah, I can't answer. I don't think that's a reasonable, literally two of the most important artists from the last year. Just, like, not. You can't answer that question. I okay. So any rap collaborations from any of you guys? Nick, do you see yourself jumping on a record with Uzi Vert? <laughs> <laughs> I have a song with Uzi. I have to finish it. Do you hey, have a song hey. with Uzi? I have a song with Uzi. Actually, you're reminding me. Absolutely, must finish this. Song. And I've been lazy. Uh, that is something I should do this week. Uh, I love Uzi. 
Uzi's great. Uzi's like, I don't know. Also, Uzi's like the best texter. Like, he always texts things, and I'm like, you should write this down, make this a lyric, because this is like a prophetic text message. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's see. Um, we got some more questions over here. Oh, tonight's a big night also on Alter Ego. Why? Because we have a wardrobe. I don't know how excited you guys are about that. <laughs> you know, wardrobe. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Finally, I have a wardrobe thing today. That's I actually... Um, I feel like we were oppressed with, with our, our... Having to wear the same, the same makeup too much. I know. <laughs> Let me just okay. say this about Roxy, our, our hostess with the Moses. She rocked every outfit she wore the entire show. Yeah, Roxy's best dress. Roxy's best dress. <laughs> yeah, and you committed, like, you really held it down for us. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah. Nick, would you do a collaboration with Ariana Grande? Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Nick, are you doing new music? Uh, I'm in the studio right now with, with 98 Degrees. We're, we're doing a new, uh, a new EP. Next year is our 25th anniversary uh, of the year we got signed to Motown Records. So we're doing a, we're doing a, a new EP uh, to celebrate. So yeah, we're in the studio now doing some new music. No wonder Vincent Herbert is on this, watching us right now. He's on to us. Grind. Do a song with Billie Eilish. That actually would be so. Uh, Ooh, uh, what? I troll Phineas a fair bit. I'm like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> that, that would be, be awesome. Amazing. She's my, those are my two favorites. That, that song NDA did, I think they're really under match. Like the dope. production on that and the vocals. Like I just love that it's this like, it's like almost like undertones of Crystal Castle in this like, like, deliciously produced like pop form and the lyrics of that song I like relate oh I think that song is so you know prescient um, amazing like that song is just I don't know I feel like I, I feel like it should be a song from the first record I think it's so sick somebody asked who was the loudest judge on set Will I am for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, because I bang on the tables. <laughs> like what the what? <laughs> what the what? Yeah. What was definitely the loudest person on set? Okay. Well, I don't know what else. I'm looking for a lot of people are asking a lot of. They want Grimes to go to Argentina. They want Grimes to go to. They want Grimes to go to Brazil too. Go to Brazil. Brazil. Well, you just have to do a South American tour, Grimes. Just yeah. No, I really, really hit the whole continent. I really, really do. It's like the one place I haven't been. Like, I this is this is a huge failure on my part. Um, Alice in Wonderland collab. I love Alice in Wonderland. I, I'm I've been texting her. I actually I should follow up on that. I love Alice in Wonderland. Um, That's cool. Super underrated. Super underrated. Um, I will in Scotland. Um, they want to know, will there be a Black Eyed Peas reunion soon? Black Eyed Peas? Um, which version of the Black Eyed Peas reunion? There's two versions of the Peas that exist. And Fergie one of version. which have, The Fergie version? You, that's a question for Fergie because Fergie is doing a great job being the mom that she wants to be. I mean, you could make a song over Zoom and make a music video in Zoom. You know, we we would do that. <clears throat> we could do that. Certain people we could do that. I don't know. Um, yeah, Fergie really wants to be a mom. That's fair. I, I get that. I actually get that impulse. I was just earlier today. I was having like a breakdown of like, like I can't do it all. Yes, because you feel fucked when they're like banging on the door, like like mommy. And you're like, am I fucking up? Do I need to, uh, you know? I might take a year. There is a point in the next five years where I might just take a year and do kid stuff just just because, like, full time. So, wait, when X sees you on the phone, does he, like, try to grab the phone from you? Like, Yeah, no, he started saying hi. I can't have him in calls anymore because he's like, hi. 
hi. <laughs> like, and he'll just keep saying hi to people on the other line to the point where he just, uh, like, he, he can't be on phone calls anymore. He used to love being on phone calls and he's very quiet and attentive, but now he can't. Okay. Grimes, do a do a kids. I did a kids record for my first for my first son. It was like one of the coolest things I ever did. A lullaby record, like it meant it meant the world to me. Like, like I'm actually I really want to make like a kids book. See, um, do I've, it. Been, I've been trying to make like get X kids books, and they just like I feel like are really creatively not fulfilling and really cre creatively safe. And like I you know I I, I want my like I just watched Totoro with little X. Have you guys seen Totoro or like any of the Miyazaki stuff? Mm -mm. It's just like it's very <clears throat> emphatically comprehensible to like a two year old, but it's, like really, really artistically adventurous. And, like you know, a little scary and just, like just like like probably like the highest art I've seen that is like that and accessible to like a child under five. And it's just like. X's response to like that was so much more amazing than like, I've ever shown him at any other time. And I was like, man, I feel like just like more radical baby art would be like such a net positive in our society. Like he was like laughing and crying. And, like like never, I've never seen him so invested in him as was in, like Totoro was spirited away. So like it, it just really inspired me and made me want to start making like kind of more radical kids content. So um, X is in a Coco Melon kind of kid. He's a what? He's not a Coco Melon kind of kid. He doesn't love the kids, too much kids content besides Miyazaki and Curious George. Um, Curious yeah, he, George he, really, he really likes Curious George, times. you know. I think the monkey, I think he relates to the monkey. <clears throat> okay guys, what is the name of your space commune? Nick, you go first. Space commune? Yeah. Uh, I would call my space commune Natty North. Because I'm from Cincinnati, and that's way to the north. Space commune. I, this is the question that we got. What you would mean, you mean, like, space what commune? would my house be in space? I guess so. What would your city be? What would your city be? Um, Black Hole. Yeah, <laughs> 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 okay, what, what about yours, Grimes? <laughs> <laughs> Excelsior. Why? I for, I forget what it means, but Stan Lee. It, it means something awesome, but Stan Lee used to always sign his uh, letters. He'd be like Excelsior, Stan Lee, and like I I googled what it meant once, and it meant something fucking amazing. And I always just thought it, it was a cool word. Okay, it sounds. Like I have to look that up. Yes, I, I, I just don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Here, I, I need more time to have a real, to have my real thought. I didn't know how to spell it. Um, I would name mine after my mom. My mom's middle name is really cool. Ziomata. Oh, that's a sick name. I've always. Ooh, I like that avatar the best. Yeah, you look really cool right now. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. That Can I say that Will was the main one that was pressing on avatars? You have a weird avatar fetish, Will. No, this nigga do. <laughs> <laughs> this the nigga that got the avatar fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it there. This the nigga, yeah. Oh my god. Got to recollaborate the eyebrows. I can't. I can't. We, I okay. think we all crushed. We all crushed a little bit on the avatars. We see tonight. What? What avatar were you crushing on, Nick? I was all about the Bay King. Uh, we had a little, we had a little thing going, you know. Yeah, me too. The Bay King had a, had, had me crushing for real. <laughs> seeing, seeing the Whitney, give me the vibes. I mean, come on. Grimes, did you ever like feel like crushing on any of the avatars? I feel not really. I don't know, kind of want to keep it professional in the workplace, but you know, <laughs> maybe I'm a, a woke millennial too much or something. But <laughs> Will HR is going to come calling for us. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to um, be calling? Inappropriately uh, attracted to the avatars. <laughs> Not appropriate in the workplace. Okay, let me get back to this one. I can't be like 
evaluating someone and have a, cr a crush on them. That part too. Like, yeah, yeah, true that. That's why I had to switch back to the to the um to the child in me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys. Crash. Alter ego. Nine, eight central. I get my easterns and westerns messed it's, up. I can't fucking handle the time changes. It's hey, can we also can we also give a quick shout out? Um, just because I came off last singer, mass singer to to the mass singer this season. I don't know if you guys have been watching that, but it's been crazy, crazy good. And I mean, what a great this is just a great night of TV. Like mass singer right into alter ego. So guys, check out. And I guess in like twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, mass singer jumps off. So. Check that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud. I'm really proud of my sister um, Nicole on that, and Crazy Ken. Ken makes me realize <laughs> that my energy levels are low. We're gonna, we're gonna knock yeah. their energy next season. We're gonna come out. We're gonna come out like a circus next season. Watch. Oh, I'm yeah. We, for I want there. what they're having. I'm asking for all type of shit. Yeah, we need more props. We need more props. The few <laughs> props they let us have were great. What because... props do you want? Uh, what props do you want, Grimes? Well, first of all, they they kept making us take our glasses off. I mean, we should be allowed to wear glasses. Um, but I, want I don't bubbles. know, like like bubble machine, like I want a bubble bubbles. machine. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a cue from Robin Thick and start unbuttoning my shirt down a little further. I, I feel like I'm. I'm too buttoned up. You go like <laughs> sleep back here, and by the end though, we had some cool looks. I, I, I that amber jacket was tight. I like how Will just kept the same look in different colors. That's what you call getting my the favorite look in every color. There yeah, because I could I couldn't make up my mind. I was like, um, well, let me just get that and. Make it easy for myself. <clears throat> okay. Then, let's see. The name of the new album for Grimes? It's really good, but I don't think I'm allowed to say it. I really want to say it. I'm like, I'm to say it, but I can't say it quite yet. But I think we're going to, I'm going to say it really soon. Somebody's saying, OMG, please share these filters. I don't know what filter this is. Cyber Mickey filter. That's what I got right now. Mine is I don't know what my filter is. Seven. I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, Mass Singer first, Alter Ego right after. Keep your TVs on the entire time. Oh, Enjoy favorite, them both. Favorite horror movie since Halloween is right around the corner. Ooh, wait a second. Before before we answer that, Grimes, have you seen Raised by Wolves? No. Always looking for more shit. I'll definitely watch that. You gotta watch that on HBO. I think that's gonna be your favorite thing. Okay. Wait. Have you guys watched Lovecraft Country? Nah. Uh, Yo, for real, Grimes, you have to watch Raised by Wolves. I think you're gonna freaking love it. Wait. I started watching that one. Grimes, I'll watch it. you're gonna love it. It's gonna inspire you. You're gonna be like, "What the what?" I swear okay, to you, you're gonna fucking I'm, love that shit. I'm looking for new stuff like crazy. Um, yeah, favorite horror. A night, probably my favorite horror movie. Fuck, I like sci-fi horror or like an alien series. Like, That's what I'm saying. Have, have you seen this Lovecraft Country show? No, actually, I've been meaning to watch Lovecraft Craft Country. I will, I will have to, that's HBO, right? Yeah, that's very much your world. Sick, 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 sick. Guys, yeah, wait, say, the somebody exorcism. Asked, what are your signs? What's your sign, Roxy? Scorpio. Oh, sick. I'm jealous. I can tell you, you're a Scorpio. How? Okay, you're okay, very what, similar. What's your sign, what's your sign Roxy? <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I mean, what's your sign, Grimes? A Pisces. Oh, I'm Pisces too. You are. Makes sense. I'm, yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Cheek. We got two two Scorpios and two Pisces. Wow! Really? Wow! Scorpios. They Scorpios are freaky though. No, but Scorpios are, are kind of the best. A lot of my favorite people. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the best. Yeah. I can't wait to. 
Grind, and Pisces are like very like indecisive know. and very like uh, in the clouds. <laughs> Pisces are everywhere. Yeah, yeah Pisces. Pisces. I don't even believe it, shit, but it's so true. I'm such a classic Pisces because it's so sad. I don't no, want to. You are. Your Grind, ultimate Pisces. Said, tell Grimes, when will she release Dark Souls? That's from your fan page. Oh man, that song's such a. The Ableton Files just corrupted. The Ableton Files corrupted. I I'll probably leak it after my next record. I'll I, I will leak it soon. <laughs> it's just a it's a it's a, it's an engineering nightmare. Oh damn! Sometimes you just burn out on a song. Sometimes, like I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do a Grimes video. Where's my blanket? <laughs> this, is, this is me watching Grimes. Nice. Hey, pretty good. Pretty good. I just need a fan machine. Yeah, this is like <laughs> this is maybe a solid performance. A cozy blanket doesn't do the same as a white sheet. I probably have to get a white sheet. You need to get like a, the lighter the better. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, guys. Um, nine eight central. Alter ego tonight. Watch us. If you love us, watch us. Turn your TV. We on. number one. Watch us. Keep watching us so we can have a season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We number one, so you know we probably gonna get a season two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Would you guys do something? Wait, wait, here's another question. Would you guys judge differently now since you're going through it in season one? Would you judge differently in season two? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think. I feel like you got to live in that moment. I mean, you can always look back 2020 vision, you know, hindsight's 2020 and you look back and think, oh man, maybe we should have done, but you got to live in that moment. You got to make your gut call in that moment. So I, I stand by what we did. I would do it just a little bit differently. <laughs> I would do it a little bit differently because um, I would, I would now be a little bit more <clears throat> open to like, Maybe a guy's not a guy and a girl's not a girl. Well, I went in there not not expecting curveballs. I mm -hmm. really I was really blown away with just how feminine men can be and how masculine women can be and your imagination has no gender. It's it's I would really really I can't wait for a season 2 cuz the show is freaking beautiful. I was too, I was also too assuming that they were like, when they were acting. And so sometimes the performance would be really good, but I'd be like, oh, this character is, like, I think it was Kai, where I was like, man, like, I really love his performance more than other performance, but his character, like, he just seemed like, his character is like really, and, and then when we actually, out and I realized he was actually, like maybe trying to overcome the popular guy thing. Yeah. But, like, was just actually the best performance, and I kind of just assumed that it was like Logan Paul on the other. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna try to guess who they are anymore. I'm just gonna know. But here, I want to say one thing to everybody out there watching: keep in mind that you know who the real person is behind the alter ego, and keep in mind that we don't. So you're you're identifying with who they are as real people, and you're cheering for them and you're rooting for them because of who they are as real people, and and we we don't know that information like we're we're literally judging just what we see in terms of the alter ego so it changes the dynamic a little bit when i watch the show back now and you see their backstory and you see their all their all their all their commentary it makes it it makes it definitely deeper than than uh you know than what we get to judge so it's it's, it's like yeah. two different shows happening at once well for well to not like take away production right do you think everybody that's watching right now would you guys rather have seen the person or kept it a surprise but then it's too much like mass singer if you don't know the background I, I like i like i like judging it based on i mean this is all about the next generation you know um you know superstar and like i like being able to judge just based purely on that but then when you watch it back there's definitely a deeper meaning behind some of these you know alter egos than than maybe you know we we knew at the time but i think that's yeah. what makes the the show intriguing and i think that's what makes it beautiful and i think that's um that's the fun of it so a lot of my friends and you know what's cool too, stories, but they want to be surprised. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, you know what's cool too is that like this is just Mario Brothers. We haven't even got to Call of Duty or Halo technology yet. Imagine when it gets there 
and it's gonna get there real fast. It's not gonna take like years. It'll probably take a year or two for the technology to be even greater than it is this season. It's gonna be nuts. Yeah, I, I do think it's okay. I think it's okay to get radical. I mean, I've been like, working for the last two years. Like, this shit did go absolutely. Like, by the time we get to the second season, they're capable of it. Oh, ready. If they can let us give a second season, they may not. I won't just stop talking about it. But, uh, <laughs> guys, I kind of run to the. the Love seeing you guys. I got a jet to the yeah. airport. Love okay. you guys. I'm out. Everybody watch. Yep. He said it. See, that's the host in him. Everybody watch Alter Ego on Fox. Everybody check out The Mass Singer on Fox. We come on right after The Mass Singer. Uh, that was a lot of fun and unexpected. And that's what we do. We play with filters the entire time that we're on here. So, yeah. Don't understand anything with the noise. Yeah, I think there was like a plane flying over Nick at that time. So uh, I don't know. But again, you guys love us and we love you. Keep watching Alter Ego. Tonight is the first night of the head to head rounds. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal performances. Phenomenal performances. Uh, and we're going to try to do this every week. Every week we try to go live right before the show so that we can talk to you guys and hear your thoughts on the show. Remember, it's Alter Ego on Fox right after The Masked Singer. Um, so, yeah, New York, turn your TVs on. Everybody in the Midwest, turn your TVs on. Central Time Zone, go ahead and do that. And, listen, we'll come back next week and we'll do this all again. And you guys can ask Grimes and Nick and... Will I am, and we we'll try to get Alanis on. Well, you can ask them all the questions you guys want, okay? But for now, uh, yeah, turn on your TVs, alter ego. <laughs>